This week on The Aviators, we take a close look at one of the most overlooked parts of an aircraft, its tires. Then check out the view from the tallest air traffic control tower in the world. And finally, we examine one big reason why flying is as safe as it is, with a lesson in maintenance at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. The often spoken adage that flying is the safest way to travel is a long-standing, although perhaps not wholly believed, piece of common knowledge. But it isn't just something that people say. Statistically speaking, not only are you more likely to be involved in a traffic accident than an airplane accident, but given the number of traffic-related pedestrian accidents in the United States each year, a strong argument could be made in support of air travel being safer than walking down the street. While flying's track record as the safest way to travel speaks for itself, the reasoning behind its reputation may not be quite so apparent, particularly to those unfamiliar with the standards set by the aviation industry and regulatory bodies such as the Federal Aviation Administration or the European Aviation Safety Agency. Chief among the host of support for such statements is a perpetual maintenance regime that is exacted with painstaking attention to quality by an array of technicians and craftsmen whose sole mission is to ensure that their collective work on an aircraft contributes to ensuring that travelers reach their destinations as safely as possible. Aircraft, unlike cars, are under a maintenance program. Even a general aviation airplane falls under some sort of some sort of maintenance program where it's getting regular re regular inspections. Chuck Horning is the department chairman for aviation maintenance science at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. Automobiles are not necessarily that case. You may drive an automobile for 20 years and never have the oil changed in the thing. Hope not, but some, somebody might do that. So, you know, from that aspect, because airplanes are under a much more rigorous maintenance program than uh, somebody's automobile, that in itself increases the, the safety aspect of uh, flying in an airplane as opposed to operating, operating in a car. All commercial and civil aircraft are required by their national regulatory bodies to undergo prescribed maintenance programs to ensure that each plane meets the standards necessary to maintain its certificate of airworthiness. The prescribed regularity under which each aircraft must undergo its maintenance checks will vary depending on such factors as the aircraft's number of flight hours, its number of cycles, and the passage of time since its previous check occurred. While the complexity of such a check can range from the opening and servicing of access panels to taking an entire aircraft apart for inspection and overhaul. Well, you know, the other aspect of uh, safety in aviation, is, uh, besides the maintenance part of the airplane, you look at the initial certification of the airplane from the beginning, and the building of an aircraft is uh, under much more control than, than an automobile. There's much more requirements that have to be met when you're building an airplane. So therefore, you know, an aircraft you might see sitting out on a ramp for a long period of time, and it may look like it's neglected, but that airplane is probably in much better shape than you might think that it is. Uh, it may, might need some minor maintenance done to it before you take it for its next flight, but it's probably in pretty decent shape if it's been um, at least kept in, a, kept in a decent area. With FAA-approved and supervised curriculums, education and training programs like those offered by Embry-Riddle's Aviation Maintenance Science Program ensure that technicians have been instilled with the industry's standards from the onset of their experience and prepares them for an incredibly important role in the aviation industry. My interest started to get me to Embry-Riddle was into, the, into this field, the aviation maintenance science field, was the fact that I loved how things worked. I loved taking things apart 
and I loved working on engines. I really did. Elijah Drug is a senior enrolled in Embry-Riddle's airframe and power plant program. I think for someone that has an interest in aviation but doesn't necessarily want to fly them can consider a lot of different routes. There's air traffic controller, there's the aviation maintenance science, and there's something I'm going into, which is the aircraft accident analysis field, which is obviously less popular than the other two. But aviation maintenance science is what I'm also doing, is I think a huge, I mean huge option doing something like this. There's no more gratification than you get when you actually fix an aircraft and you watch it go take off and you just delivered all those passengers to their families. And you're the, I mean, it, 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 there's no, it's, it's hard to explain, there's no greater feeling of realizing that you just, you're the reason they got home safely. For those still holding on to some skepticism with regard to the safety associated with flying, it should bring some comfort to know that a school like Embry-Riddle, whose airframe and power plant program supplies the industry with approximately 125 new technicians each year, really puts their money where their mouth is when it comes to the confidence they hold in the abilities of their students, who are more than prepared for what's to come in their careers. We try to uh, go much more in depth on some of the topics and just what the FAA, what the FAA requires schools to teach airframe and power plant technicians. For example, we have an engine repair station that is part of our curriculum. So students, before they ever leave here, actually spend time working in a live FAA engine repair station on engines that are actually going to go back on airworthy airplanes. In fact, they're going back on airplanes that the university uses for flight training. All right, that's how much credibility they put in our engine repair station. While many people think of pilots as the be-all and end-all as far as careers in the aviation industry go, the behind-the-scenes work of skilled technicians and craftsmen throughout the industry shouldn't be overlooked in ensuring the integrity of aircraft along with the safety of the passengers traveling on board. If this sounds like it could be of interest, keep your eyes open as the inspiration you need could come when you least expect it and send you on your way to an exciting, demanding, and deeply rewarding career in the world of aviation. Believe it or not, the moment when I actually decided to go into the aviation field, specifically the aviation maintenance science field, was when there was a National Geographic uh, in 2007, 2008 that had a picture of an F-22 on it and they had a ground crew working on one of these F-22s and I was so jealous of them that I wanted to be the one taking apart that type of stuff. I wanted to be the one working on those types of $220 million aircraft, things of that nature. So the fact is, it was something as simple as a magazine article that got me completely hooked on it. And after then, now here I am a senior completing an aviation maintenance science program at one of the world's best aerospace universities.